Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about chafing. Now chafing can affect anyone, whether you are male or female, and chafing normally occurs on the inner thighs all the way up to the grind, mostly in the grind. Now today I have a wonderful treatment for you that is gonna ease that irritation, it's gonna cool the irritation, and it's also gonna get rid of the chafing. Now, chafing tend to occur in women, especially at that time of the month. When you tend to wear your sanitary napkins, sometimes the rubbing and even sometimes the material that is made out of cause you to shave. Also, if you don't change on a regular, you could get shaved if you have a heavy flow. So today I'm gonna share with you this treatment that you can use regardless if you're flowing or not. And for you guys, when you tend to sweat and all of that friction, that rub between your legs, you can use this treatment also. So if you're interested in this video, then continue watching. So for this recipe, I'm gonna be showing two options and you're gonna need a bowl for this. I'm using two bowls, but you're gonna need one bowl depending on the option that you choose. I'm gonna be using some coconut oil. I'm also gonna be using some aloe vera gel and this is 100 percent pure organic aloe vera gel and i'm also going to be using some tea tree essential oil tea tree oil is known for its powerful antiseptic properties and ability to treat scars and blemishes when used on chafing it helps to ease itching and burning all right so to begin, I'm gonna make the first treatment, which is option one. And I'm gonna be using one tablespoon of pure aloe vera gel. And I'm adding about six to eight drops of tea tree oil. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drops of tea tree oil. And then I'm gonna mix this. Aloe vera has antiviral and anti-inflammatory properties that accelerate healing. It helps to heal chronic skin problems such as chafing, psoriasis, acne, and eczema. And this is option one. Option two, I'm using coconut oil. And this is about a teaspoon of coconut oil. I'm gonna add the same amount of tea tree oil which is about eight drops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm gonna mix this. Coconut oil has antibacterial and antifungal properties that aid in killing fungal and yeast infections, thereby helping treat irritation and rashes on the skin. If your coconut oil is already liquefied, use one tablespoon instead of one teaspoon. If it's solid, go ahead and use a teaspoon, okay? So here we have our two options. And our third option, which everyone can use this, is cornstarch, also known as corn flour. Cornstarch has several healing compounds. It acts similar to a talcum powder. It helps in sucking up the moisture. Applying cornstarch on the affected area will also help in reducing itching and excessive sweating. So I'm using one tablespoon of cornstarch. So here we have our treatment. We have aloe vera gel and tea tree oil. We have coconut oil and tea tree oil, and we also have corn starch, which is also known as corn flour. To use the treatment, you wanna make sure to wash the area where you have your chafing, and mild soap and water is perfect. Do not use any form of harsh chemical on the area. Mild soap is best. And then you're gonna make sure to pat dry, do not rub, just pat dry the area. And if you're using 
the hollow and tea tree oil you're going to take a little make sure your hands are clean dip in and you're going to use it to massage the area now no pressing just gently massage the area once you do that you're going to leave that to dry so you do not need a lot just a little at a time do not rinse off once this is dry you're going to reach for your cornstarch and you're going to dip in and you're going to pat your cornstarch on the area wherever you have the chafing you're going to pat the cornstarch on it do not rub just press it on And that is it do not rinse off where it is overnight next morning rinse off do the same thing all over again until you completely get rid of your chafing okay and that is using the aloe vera and tea tree and the cornstarch now if you choose to use the coconut and tea tree oil treatment you're going to do the same thing you're going to make sure to wash and pat dry the area and then you're going to apply your coconut and tea tree oil just a little and you're going to gently massage it on your chafed area just let it sit for a couple of minutes then you go back massage it a little more Reach for your cornstarch and tap this on right over, right over your chafed area. Notice the difference. When you apply this with the aloe vera gel, you basically could see the cornstarch. Now with the coconut oil and tea tree oil, the cornstarch tend to melt right in, right in and it's going to have a nice velvety feeling you do the same you wear this overnight you rinse in the morning repeat the process until you get rid of your chafing okay which should be within three days all right so there you have it thank you all for watching give the video a thumbs up if you like it don't forget to share the video and if this was the first time watching leave your comment and i'll see you all in my next video Bye bye Thank you.